Jimmy, right. you saw, a lot, of, you saw a lot of zones tonight. Was that uh, something you were prepared for? Something you were? Oh yeah, we went over our scouting report for the past two days, and they were going to play 40 minutes of zone. They weren't going to come out of it. I think they did it for the three or two, however many games they played. They played zone. I don't think there's been a possession of man to man. So we practiced that, and we came out prepared. Like they shifted them around different zones, different looks to the zones? Um, it was a really aggressive zone. Uh, one of the more aggressive zones you see in college basketball, they bring a lot of guys out. They do really well at pressuring the ball, trying to make you make quick decisions. But I think we handled the pressure very well. I just think uh, it's all about preparation for us. I think we prepared for it very well. All right, you talked about their scouting report. What concerned you the most or what were the biggest challenges you expected from them tonight? They have a lot of guys that can shoot the ball and score the ball. 23, he had like 19 points today. Like he's been averaging 21, so we knew he was a real offensive threat. But so we knew we, it was about team defense really today, being able to get out on shooters, force people into tough shots. I think we were able to do that. Every, this is your, you know, as much basketball as you've played buzzer to buzzer in a while now. How did it feel, just the game flow, getting out there, and how do you think you did? Um. I liked it a lot. I think that's kind of been uh, the toughest part is, uh, you know, you have to get used to playing in increments. And I've been doing a lot of increment play, but today was kind of a, um, a smooth amount of long minutes. And for me personally, that, that's helpful. My body gets warmed up. I kind of get into a groove and, you know, you have teammates that can find you and, you know, to knock down shots and get easy buckets and things like that. You know, it really helps. So it was definitely, um, definitely a good game you know, for everybody. Do you think the physicality of your game has improved in you know the one preseason that you've been here? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, I pride myself a lot before I came in here um, just to work on my body to make sure that that was the one thing I wouldn't have to worry about, um, the speed and the physicality. Um, and so coming in, uh, I felt really comfortable. When, you know, we got to play in the summer up and down with these guys. I felt very comfortable. And then two or three months of more weight training, at a high level just, just really helps. So it's you know, it's something that I'm not afraid to to do and I, I love to get down there and bang with other bigs and things like that, run the floor and so yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys were both on the floor when that scuffle happened with Goo under the basket. What happened exactly? Um, Goo went up and I'm pretty sure he got the rebound. The guy just kinda wrapped him around his neck and Goo was trying to go in and kinda pulled him down and so it was just you know, just kind of being too rough, things like that. I mean, it happens, you know, guys are competitive and no wants to get beat like that and things like that, so. On the defensive end, Jimmy, you talked about how they have a lot of guys who can shoot, but you hold them under 30% from the field and 14% on threes. What was the key to the defensive approach to keep some of those guys from getting loose and getting their shot? That's preparation, uh, watching a lot of film on guys, seeing their tendencies, things they like to do, so. Sort of when you go out into the game and you know sort of what's going to happen, it's easier to guard guys. And I think you just got to chalk it up to preparation. You ever seen anybody take a free throw before the clock started? Before? I think that's the first time ever in college I've yeah. seen it. The guy take a free throw. I think I've only seen stuff I've like seen that happen in yeah, yeah, high school, school. AAU. So that was, in college. it was interesting. I mean, start up 1 0. <laughs> I know it might not have affected your preparation, but what did you think of you know them showing up with basically ten minutes before tip off? I mean, I, it happens. I yeah. mean, anything can happen. Yeah. College basketball, so I'm sure it wasn't we weren't really intentional. Yeah, we weren't too concerned about it. We just wanted to come out and play our game. We're not too concerned whether another team shows up on time or late. We just want to go out and play as hard as we can. We knew whether they showed up on time or not, they were going to have guys ready to play, and it, it showed 23. A really good player, amazing player, seven for 15, 19 points. So, Everett, you, Everett, you were a beast tonight. You won five for five from the field. It's perfect, and you had double digit rebounds. What's your mindset knowing you're coming off the bench and knowing you're capable of these explosive performances? Um, you know, it just starts with what the team needs. Um, I think everyone is capable of doing, you know, having a double double on this team. Uh, and I really do think that. I think the coaches believe that just as much, um, and so it's, it helps our confidence a lot. You know, we, we always talk about some nights guys are going to be hot, and some nights, you know, some nights can be yours, some nights it's not. And I think everyone understands that, um, and it just takes some maturity. 
um, and we have a lot of young guys, but I, I really can say that I think all four of us young guys, we really believe in that. And so, you know, sometimes it's just your night, and, uh, you know, everyone was capable of doing it. And it helps, I'm telling you, it helps when you got veterans that really, really trust you, trust you knock down shots, trust you with lobs and, and little things like that. So, you know, it's just, it's just a great team, and just, we have a lot of chemistry, love each other a lot, so it just makes it easy.